Hi. In uh, this video, we'll briefly discuss the solution for the program 2 in uh, section A43. And uh, this program uh, will try to compute the maximum steel temperature based on a list of uh, temperatures received. So, given a text file like uh, this one, we need to have various cities. Uh, a temperature that is either in Fahrenheit or Celsius, we need to determine which city and uh, which is the maximum temperature uh, uh, in, uh, in the list. So, uh, what we'll do, we'll start with uh, just looking overall over the code and then we'll discuss each step in detail. So, we'll start by preparing the variables in which will compute the maximum values. Then we'll uh, uh, declare the variables to read each of the cities from the uh, file. And uh, while we didn't find the end of, uh, of the list, which uh, we need to mark by this end, be sure that you add a new line after the end, so you will not have trouble in some operating system reading it, you will read the temperature and the units. If it's units in Celsius, you will convert in Fahrenheit, and then you will update the maximum temperature and city if needed. If needed, if the current temperature in the current city is bigger than the temperature that we determined previously, that is maximum. And uh, at the end, because we started by reading the city outside the loop, we need to end the loop by reading the next city again, and the loop will repeat uh, during this uh, process. Uh, after we computed, uh, after we went through all the list, now we have the maximum temperature computed, and we'll print this temperature and the city in uh, the output. So this is a, these are the main steps of the program. Let's discuss now each of them one by one. So to prepare the variables for uh, uh, to keep the maximum, we need a variable for the city, and we'll name this max city. So the city needs a temperature is maximum, and also we need uh, another variable that will keep the temperature in that city, and we'll name it max uh, uh, temperature. Now. Initialize max temperature is minus 1000, just to be sure that any temperature we read is better than that. And we assume that the file has at least one city. Now, for each step, we'll need to, to read also to, to keep the city, the temperature, and the unit of each of, uh, of the values. So, like uh, in first, we have perfect 30, uh, 35 and uh, Fahrenheit we need to keep those values in some variables. And sure, the city is a string, the temperature is a double, and the unit is again a string. Uh, and uh, to read from the file, we'll read uh, from the system in, but we need to set that the system in is uh, uh, this file, this temp file. To, to do that, we'll just run once and uh, and then we'll need to go, and here we'll run, uh, we'll go to run configurations, and uh, we'll need to to go in the environment in the common, and here we need to specify where is uh, uh, our input file. So uh, let's pick the file system, and uh, or yes, the file system is here, and we need to go, you need to know where is your input file and search for it and um, uh, identify the okay, the workspace and identify Uh, which is our course source 
a a4 sure on your computer depending where you put them it will be a different place and open that file and this will be our input file and uh, now it will work but um, uh, in order to be able to read read the scanner from the standard input you need to do this setting in the run configuration so again you go in run configuration common and here as input file you'll select from the file system your file you can also go in workspace and when you select from your workspace it will uh, just show you the packages and uh, sure you can go much easier here to find where this file is and you can pick this one from your workspace it's the same thing uh, it will run it will give you the same value uh, but in that case you need to have this file in your workspace now once you prepare the scanner and this is a standard uh, scanner reading from the standard input the only difference is that we modify the standard input to be this file that we defined here uh, we can start reading and as you can see first thing that we'll have it will be a city now we read this outside the loop and that's very important because we want to check that we are not at the end and as we start the loop we want to do this check so i need to have this value before the loop so i want to be sure that i read the city before i check so i read the city and as long as the city is not the end then i will read the remaining so i know that i have the city now i need to read the temperature and the unit of measure so uh, we did the temperature passing a double from the scanner and we need the unit as a token as a string but the unit can be fahrenheit or celsius and we assume in this example that the data is correct we don't assume that the data is wrong so uh, if the temperature is uh, uh, Fahrenheit we have nothing to do but if the temperature is Celsius we need to com convert in Fahrenheit and this is a, a formula to convert Celsius in Fahrenheit so what I know that here I will have when I read this point I will have the temperature in Fahrenheit and uh, uh, we already said the max temperature in Fahrenheit uh, that was found up to the current so we know that right now both the temperature and mass temperature are in Fahrenheit so we can compare them and if my current temperature is greater than my previous maximum value means I find a better temperature a higher temperature so I want to update my record say no now this is my highest temperature so this uh, max city will become the current city and max temperature will become the current temperature so now max city and max temp will keep the best uh, temperature the higher temperature and city which this was encountered from all previous uh, cities so I have now the updated max and uh, next I need to uh, read the next city because we read city outside the loop at the end of the loop we need to read the city again so this is like the programming pattern that we'll always do in, in such a situation um, now after I finish the loop means that I when I finish the loop when when I find the city that uh, is named end so we have the city at the end of all these uh, files so when I finish the loop I know that I look at all the cities so now I have the maximum temperature and maximum city representing the maximum from the entire set of data so uh, then we can just print the obtained uh, values and we'll pick the city and uh, also the temperature and you see we got Vienna 37.4 and if we look Vienna is freeze Celsius which is 37.4 so it's clear that the conversion works uh, because otherwise free will not be maximum 35 will be maximum but free in Celsius is better than 35 in Fahrenheit so that's why Vienna is, uh, is given as a value uh, here we didn't put the unit of measure so maybe that's something that we want to add so we'll have max temperature and let's put unit of measure also for it to look better so let's run again and now we got 37.4 Fahrenheit degrees um, 
endpoint to our end is closure scanner just to be sure that the file doesn't remain in reading mode and uh, everything will uh, be uh, closed properly. This concludes the temperature program.